Do you think we have a very good sign this morning in the silver market, in the gold market, in the precious metals mining stock market, when the slightest bit of good news sends the prices skyrocketing? Guys, we've been talking about this for a month, six weeks or so. Gold, silver, they've been building a strong, strong base in the face of strong headwinds, right? The Fed has become so hawkish lately, done everything they can, right? The headwinds have just been pushing and pushing against the price of gold, against the price of silver, but they hung tight. They hung strong. Gold hung out around that $1,800 range silver around the $20 range. And this morning, what's this big news, right? That has sent the price of the precious metals flying. Oh, the unemployment rate went up by like one tenth of 1% in that just that little tiny bit, right? That's not massive. That's just tiny. That sent the price of the precious metals flying. Think about what's going to happen when all the effects start flowing through, all these lagging effects from what the Fed has done over the last year, the fastest interest rate hike in history, right? When that feeds through into the economy in the coming six months, and the Fed's going to be faced with some tough, tough decisions, right? Oh, what do you think they're going to do? Are they going to let the economy completely crash, or are they going to loosen up? Most everybody thinks they're going to loosen up. Let me know what you think. And when they loosen up even further, right? Again, gold and silver have built what I think is a rock solid base at that $1,800 uh, for gold, $20 for silver range. The, the, the result could be absolutely stunning. We could be in for some really great times within the precious metals sector because the world right? The whole world is shifting away from the dollar. Have you heard about that, right? De-dollarization. The world is saying, hey, you know what? When we look at the United States and we look at all the debt you have, we look at how screwed up things are in the U.S. right now. You don't have to be a Harvard-trained mathematician to figure this out, guys. Between the debt, between the deficits that we're running, between the fact that a lot of countries, right, a lot of them, the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and the other like 50 countries that now want to join up with the BRICS, they're also afraid of the dollar holding it in reserves because if they cross the United States, those dollars can be confiscated, taken away. The world, this is where it gets interesting, is naturally moving back to what has always been money. You may not agree with me, but I think the world has always been on the gold and silver standard and always likely will be, at least for the foreseeable thousand years. And I don't think I'm going to outlive that, right? Gold and silver, John Exter, Exter's Pyramid. You need to look that up. You need to read about it. It is fascinating. At the base of everything is gold and silver. Above it, there's a bunch of paper, electronic money, debt derivatives, you know, look what's going on with these, these crypto-related banks all crashing now lately. We'd like to thank our sponsor, First Mining Gold. They're a Canadian gold developer with two world-class projects in Canada. They also have a handful of other projects. When you total up all the gold in their resources, it comes to over 12 million ounces. They're worth checking out. I'll put a link to the company's website in the description below. Money value is going to continue to filter back to gold and silver, and that can only be good for the price of the precious metals, the value proposition. And I know, I know, I know, we're not supposed to measure our precious metals in fiat unicorn fart dust terms, but, but, when we just look at the fact that gold and silver, they've always been valuable, they'll always be valuable, we can rest tight. 
I really hope that today marks a turning point for the precious metals. I have a strong inclination that it does, and it's going to be happy times for us as we move into the coming months, quarters, and years. Look, I'm wrong all the time. I'll warn you, like normal, don't make any investment decisions, financial decisions based on anything I said today. But when the slightest uptick in good news, favorable news, when the headwind, that big fan they have blowing against the price of gold and silver, when they turn it down from level three just to level two and a half, I won't even say it went to level two, and the price of the metals responds like it has, that is telling us something. Thanks for joining me here in the basement. You know you're always welcome here, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.